Here's how to install the Error 300 tilt and swivel wall mount. First, let's check what's in the box. Two wall anchors, two screw covers, two wall screws, four M5 screws, one anti-vibration pad, one wall mount, one tilt and swivel mechanism, one speaker mount, and an Allen wrench. Here are the tools needed for this job. Now, let me explain how to mark and drill on different wall types. Start by using the spirit level to check the wall mount's alignment. Then, mark the screw holes as preparations for drilling. Here's how to drill on a drywall. Use 5 16 inch drywall drill bits with 1 and 3 8 inches drill depth, marked by tape. Then drill the holes, stopping at the marked depth. After drilling, insert the wall anchors to support the wall screws. Now let's move on to drilling on wood stud ply board. Use a 1 8 inch wood drill bit with a drill depth of 1 3 4 inch, marked by tape. Start drilling the holes, stopping at the marked depth. No wall anchors are needed for this, as the wood studs will serve as support for the wall screws. Lastly, this is how to drill on a concrete wall. For this one, we'll use a 5 16 inch masonry drill bit with 1 and 3 8 inches drill depth. Drill the wall to the marked depth. And like with the drywall, We'll need to insert the wall anchors to support the wall screws. Now let's proceed with installing the tilt and swivel mount and the speaker. First, secure the wall mount with the provided wall screws. Next, attach the tilt and swivel mechanisms to the wall mount. Pull the mechanism down to lock it in place. Attach the speaker mount to the tilt and swivel mechanism. Then lock in place using the provided M5 screws. Cover the screws with the provided screw caps. Next, place the power cable in position on the speaker mount. Then, put the anti-vibration pad in place. Attach the speaker to the power cable, then put it on top of the speaker mount. After that, lock the speaker in place using the remaining M5 screws. You can tilt and swivel your speaker to your preferred angle at this point. Finally, Attach the tilt and swivel mechanism's bottom cover, and you're done. 